These are the readings from the three axes accelerometer of my smartphone and this is the reading from its built-in magnetometer. And here is the same magnetometer readings being retrieved by a Python program running on my computer. Your phone has dozens of different sensors and you can perform many physical experiments with them. Here, I'll show you how you can access your phone's sensors from any device. For this, we shall use an open source app called Firefox. It is available at the Google Play Store, the open source app Droid Store, Apple App Store and the source code is available on GitHub. Once you install and open the app, it will ask for a few permissions, and then you'll be presented with a list of experiments. These experiments are basically how Firefox presents you with the data retrieved from your smartphone sensors. Let's test my phone's accelerometer. Here you can see the accelerometer data being plotted on my smartphone screen. Now if I open the menu and click on Allow Remote Access, the app will serve a web page that will provide me with the data from the experiment that is currently running. The URL is shown at the bottom of the app. Once I open that URL with any other device on the same network, I'll see a screen that looks like this. From here I have complete control over the currently running experiment. I can even export the data that was captured by the experiment. Let's check out another experiment. Here is the magnetometer in my smartphone. Let me start remote access. And now I can access the experiment from my computer. Now say, we want to control some other devices based on this data. We can easily achieve that by retrieving the JSON through an HTTP GET request on the appropriately structured URL and then parsing on the data to an appropriate program. Here is a small Python program that is remotely retrieving the real-time 3-axis magnetometer data from my smartphone and printing them. With Firefox you can do a lot more than what I have shown you on this video. So, please tell me in the comments if you have any suggestions or if you found this video useful. And, I'll be back.